What is up guys? Thaddeus here. Happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate that. Happy Black Friday because we all celebrate that. Ah, we all make money from that. In this video, we're going to talk about five things that you guys really, 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 really need to do for Black Friday or to prepare for. I mean, you really need to do this at all times, guys, but like especially for Black Friday, Cyber Money and that stuff and how you can capitalize on this and make a lot of money, okay? I've had days where I've made $20,000 with some of my sites um, just on like th like this, this week, okay? Starting on Black Friday and following through Cyber Money and the days after Cyber Monday, okay? Me personally, I've had more sales come through on Cyber Monday and the days after Cyber Monday and then Black Friday. Um, me, I, I just think people like go to brick and mortar stuff more often when that happens, but that's besides the point, guys. We'll get to the video. First thing I want to do is give a shout out to my boy Austin. Boop. He hopped in the course uh, pretty recently and he just passed $2,000 a day in, in sales. Which is crazy, okay? I mean, it hasn't been like right away from him. It wasn't like easy, but he did it. Congrats. He posted that. He shared that in our private group for the course. So if you guys are interested in that, link is in the description, guys. There's a huge Black Friday discount. Literally, I'm cutting it like over 75% off, okay? So if you are interested in that, hop in now. That's going to last for like the next three days, and that's it. But let's get started with today's video. Let's go. All right, guys. The first thing you want to do, right, is the, like a key to marketing is scarcity, okay? You need to make people think and like, like, like get, get your brand, like, perceive to them that yo these products are not gonna last forever okay or like like these products are flying off the shelves this discount isn't gonna last forever like scarcity okay it can't be all around it can't be like 24 7 like ongoing and it, it can't it can't like always be around okay you have to make them feel like yo this is the time to buy this is the time to buy is now okay and an app that you can use for that i talk about this in, in one of my app videos guys but it's called herify okay you can download that in the shopify app store the link is in the description um like literally links for everything is gonna be in the description but you can download that and what that does basically is it goes on your product page okay you can have timers there you can have inventory levels and that that, that show it go down live on your site okay so like, it literally shows or it, it's it's giving that perceived scarcity to to the client to the customer and whatnot to help them convert to help them get sales all right so again that like scarcity is such such like an important factor when it comes to marketing guys and i think it's one that's like severely overlooked because a lot of people they just try and get eyeballs to the site and then like they just figure people are just gonna buy the product because they like the product and that, that's not it guys you really really have to just close them on the site okay or on the on the products that you're trying to sell and convert and whatnot so herify is an app that you can use that i use frequently it helps convert guys it goes on your product page it's not anything on the home page Page. It's not a pop-up, um, anything like that. If you are looking at pop-ups, you can use the app Privy. Um, if you are looking um, for social proof, you can use the app um, FOMO. Like, there's a bunch of apps, guys. I literally talked about in the app video, but that's the thing. You want scarcity for this, for 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 the ease of conversions, okay? And this plays in the whole entire funnel again, guys. Like, you drive traffic from Instagram. That's how I teach in my course. That's how I do everything else. Always plug. But it, it, like, you gotta drive traffic from Instagram with good ad copy, good images, good shouts, all that stuff. And like, th that right there is one of the hardest parts that people have when they first try and get traffic to their site. And it's very important for Black Friday because like you need traffic to your site you want a lot of traffic to your site to get a lot of sales right but that's that's the first step that's only the first step guys there's a lot of other factors that play into this okay and so you need to have scarcity there okay you drive traffic from Instagram you have FOMO you have all these apps I mentioned earlier and in my other videos that are like like that are, that are, that are I guess you could say filling up or like like play like like playing their part in the cog. I don't know. I suck at acronyms or not. I, I don't know. What I'm talking about okay. But but you, like it, it's a funnel, guys. You drive traffic from Instagram. You get them to your site. Your site needs to have the proper apps and whatnot that help convert, that help give social proof, that help capture emails and give discounts and help close customers that wouldn't necessarily be customers if you hadn't you know closed them, right? So like one, you offer huge discounts for the email. You offer um like social proof uh, pop ups and stuff with FOMO and all that just just to increase site trust for the client. And then you have Herify and whatnot. To help convert them on the product pages because if you can drive them to your website to a like a specific product page that shows at least some form of interest or curiosity that the customer has for your product now you need to close them on it and be like yo these products ain't gonna be here forever this discount's not gonna be here forever you better buy now okay that that's what like all that is for okay so essentially that that's what you're doing with the scarcity app okay uh number two for black friday show and like this is something i've done with a few of my sites guys um i i don't tell people this right so like it's going up on the web for the first time i haven't seen anyone else actually say this online I like looked around, I was like, ooh, I think I'm onto something. But what you guys can do, right? So with Black Friday, what and Cyber Monday, like what, what why why is it so why is it so popular, right? Deals, right? Big, big deals, okay? Now what 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 a business owner, like what a dropshipping, what you might think, what a dropshipping guy might think, right? For their sites, like, okay, I need to offer a big deal, which is gonna hurt my margins, but I'll make more money. Or or 
you can increase your top level prices, right? Like you can increase the actual pricing for your products, okay? By a certain amount, even like $10 or something like that. But again, your website needs to look money, okay? It needs to look 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 like it's money. Like, and I say that as in like, it needs to look good. It needs to look expensive. Like the product can't, you can't have outrageous products and then like the, the whole brand and the vibe you get from your site just looks like crap. Then this, then this is not gonna work, okay? But what I'm saying is if your site looks expensive, looks luxury or like looks good, it looks money, okay? That's what I'm saying. Then, then you can increase the prices of all your products or specific product lines that you're gonna be selling, okay? And then that allows you to offer a bigger discount for your products, okay? So I, 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 you can do that, guys. Like, you're the owner. You can change the products. You can change the margins. You can make better margins, guys. Again, you're winning in the back end of that. Now Now you don't need as many sales, like, as, as you would have done, say, if you didn't know this, right? And you were charging the same rates and doing the same marketing techniques, but now you just made less because people bought the product at the same price. You just offered a discount, right? So if you increase the top pricing, right? So say say, say you're selling a necklace for, like, $14.99 or something, like $15, right? But you increase it now to $21.99, and the discount is, you know, $14.99, or you make it even lower than what it was. Was, so like $12.99 instead of having it originally be $14.99 and I have to sell it for like $8.99 You know what I mean? Like guys, you're playing with your back end. You're playing with like that's where a lot of the money is made Okay, that's like if you can tweak your back end and perfect that side of things you're, you're you're really off to a good start, especially if you can convert on your site, okay, guys? So that's something like I haven't seen many people tell about. And that's something you can do on your site, guys. So literally, you increase the prices for your products, but you really aren't trying to sell them at that rate. You're just going to increase it so you can offer a bigger discount because Black Friday, it's all about huge-ass discounts, okay? So if you can offer a fat discount...